<clears throat> yeah, I would like to say one thing. Just now we have learned about how to use dynamic selection. Now I would like to tell you, if you create a, a variant node for current level, or suppose this level, you are using standard storage bin, okay? Storage bin with all these options, but you wanted to have a separate variant with your own data. Create. <clears throat> Okay, see, new selection, it's got created. And then here, you can have your own data here. So you don't need to disturb the standard, okay? So standard one, whatever it is there, you can use it, but finally you want to use your own. It is only applicable for you, you can use it in your monitor. Where is that field? Total, total number of attributes. Where there is a two. And every day you are going to take a report like this and then go ahead and that's it. Uh, execute. If you have HS with the number of HS in the bin, two, two, two only, it will display. This is for your rename also. You can do that. Okay. Something rename over here, rename node, new selection. Okay. So you will get. Sub notes also I created. That is the reason it is coming. Otherwise, if you don't want sub notes, remove the sub notes. Okay. Remove this node. Remove this node. This is your node. Okay. This is standard. Okay. This is your node. Okay. That's how you can make it your own notes and then right click. If you want to have a bad job, you can also showing selection screen. The existing ones, okay? The one which I created right now is showing with, and also standard also is the grass rate, GR, power flow. These are standard provided. Okay, is already filled. Execute. That's it. That means you don't need to select every time your variants and everything. It's variant already set as a separate node. Yeah, that's what I would like to give you update on this monitor. How how you can fix your own variant or node.